Hi, in this video I'll show you how you can use DVW Analytics SAP Connector to pull data directly from SAP tables into your Power BI solutions. Let's start in our XCS console. This is where you configure connectivity to your SAP systems. You can see here that it's very similar to your SAP logon pad containing all your different systems and their configurations. We use the configuration button to create a particular connection to a table within SAP. If we hit create, then you can see we have options to connect to tables or BW. We enter a specific name for our connection. Once we've done that, we select the system that we want to connect to. In this case, I'm going to use an ECC system and you can see that my credentials have been retained, encrypted of course, and when we ping the system we see that we have established connectivity. In the parameters tab we now define the table that we want to extract data from. I'm going to look at BKPF which is the account document header table and if I do a search then I can find tables with the same text string and when I say OK then the metadata for that table is brought back into the console. You can see that we have key fields and data fields and we can choose which ones we wish to be included in the export into Power BI. Also we have secondary indexes which can be useful so that we have efficient searches to pull back data in a performant way. If we right click then we can add a filter on particular data. So here for fiscal year we can add 2019 and we can see that now the data only for 2019 will be extracted. Of course we can add other filters so let's try document type and again we right click add a filter and edit that filter. This time we get a list when we search because specific values are maintained within the SAP system and I can search within these values for the ones that I want and select a given value or a range of values or I can choose a specific selection list. So I'll choose three values here and I'm also going to use the split functionality of the tool. This enables the calls to be broken down wherever you see true into separate calls to SAP and so reducing the impact on your back-end system. I've now executed that call and you can see that sample data has been brought back for 2019. I've restricted the call to 200 lines but I can increase that or if I put a zero that gives me all the data within that filter. I can now save my configuration and use that within Power BI. If I now close this window and go back to my configurations list I can refresh that list and I'll see that the new one I've just created, the new table connection, is included. I can right click and copy the OData URL and it's this that gives me connectivity in Power BI. So within Power BI I add a new data source of an OData feed and paste in the URL that I've just copied from the console. When I hit OK Power BI retrieves the list of all the configurations that I have within the console. You can see they're here and the last one is the one I'm interested in. When I click on that I get a preview of the data similar to the one we saw in the console and now I can load that data into Power BI. That takes a few seconds but when it comes across then you'll see on the right hand side all the fields that we've selected which can now be used in our analytics. Here they are. To see the data more fully and quickly we can click on the table view here and there's all our data for 2019 and the various document types that we selected. So that was a very quick 3-4 minutes and we've already got data within Power BI. Hopefully that was interesting for you. If you'd like to see more, please visit our website at dvwanalytics.com.